hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you one other function similar to above and below you have before function and uh, let me just add the measure over here and let me show you the error it will throw and by that error you will be able to understand where to use it all right so not every function can be used everywhere so before sum of sales right this is what we have been doing in the last two videos for above and below and let's click apply and here we don't get anything like i said it will throw an error because uh, before does not uh, work within this simple table structure it looks towards the dimension for example dimension like this in a horizontal way so for example like a pivot structure so if i go ahead and let me delete this um let me add the pivot over here add the dimension which is year and quarter um year and i will add one more which is quarter all right and for measure i will add yeah sum of sales i'm good now over here this is basically i want it in a column so can i drag it yes all right done so now the before basically works in a way that uh, in, in a setting like this so for before if if it is here it will basically look at the value over here that means one step back before or two step back then two step before or three step before so this is how basically uh, uh, your setting should be whether a pivot table or a chart a chart like this where you know value can go one step before two step before three step before like that so i uh, will click edit and over here i will add one more measure which is uh, simply saying before sum of sales that's it and click apply and let me click done all right so for this there is nothing prior to that so you are not getting anything but for q2 what you're getting is this value right and so on and so forth and now it's up to you what kind of expression you want to apply you want to have a q quarter over quarter calculation or something else uh, that is relevant as per your business rule or as per the dimension uh, that you are using if not this something else then you want to apply that kind of a condition you can go ahead and apply so that's pretty much it i wanted to talk in this video about the before function and i will meet you in the new video the new topic